Rita Mkisa, a resident of Kawala Central, a Kampala suburb, is one of the volunteers of Uganda Red Cross. This morning we found her leaving her house to start her routine duties. However, with the help of this megaphone, she spends the better half of her day educating and emphasizing the need for the observance of the standard operating procedures against COVID-19 to the public. Like other Red Cross volunteers, Muxa also helps with the home care-based treatment. You advise them what they have to do to improve on their immunity, to practice the SOPs. However, sometimes they are, uh, the situation can, um, can, can worsen. So what we do, we leave the contacts of the ambulance teams so that they are able to call us and we pick these people and refer them at that point of referral. Today, she also visited the home of Teopista Najita as a follow-up after she helped her recover from COVID-19 through the home care treatment approach. In a day, Muksa inspects around 100 households, as opposed to only 50 or less that she used to inspect during the first wave of the epidemic. We found many cases in the community, and even in them, they were realized that COVID-19 is real. Asked about the challenges faced by the volunteers, the head of communications and public relations at the Uganda Red Cross Society, Irene Nakasita, says they have deployed over 600 volunteers in the Kampala metropolitan area and 40,000 countrywide as a way of complementing government efforts to fight COVID-19. Some people say, yeah, please give us food, you know. Some people say, okay, give us the actual masks, give us these hand washing facilities. The demands in the communities are quite high compared to what we are able to offer. Although we go in with the sensitization of the messages, sometimes we also do this, uh, we, we deliver. For example, we've given out hand washing facilities to most of these people. We've given out soap. The Uganda Red Cross strongly credits this public health initiative for the reduction in the COVID-19 infection numbers within the Kampala metropolitan area. People live in their local communities. The National Task Force is a high-level task force, and basically you would say that is business maybe in Kampala or for the big people. But when we come down at the grassroots, that's where the problem is. We all live in villages. If these fundamental basics are not known at the village level, then we are doing nothing. That's why we say let's get to the Muntuawansi who lives in their villages. I mean, and we educate and sensitize them at their local level. I said epidemics or pandemics begin and end in the community. However, this has come with challenges, prompting a call for the government to emphasize the fight against COVID-19 through similar public health initiatives. These are things that we've been educated on and we know what to do. We collectively do them and fight the pandemic. So basically, this is a very, very simple game. Let's do the basics. Let's, do the, let's enforce the SOPs. And we can live with COVID because we do not know when COVID is going to go away. With a few days left to the end of the 42-day lockdown, there are hopes among the Red Cross community that this call will be headed, prompting many public messages to help the public cope with the pandemic. John Cliff Wamala. NTV News.